For many of us, living in the clouds is just a daydream. But very soon, you might finally get the chance to do just that once the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia is completed. It's going to kick Dubai's famous Burj Khalifa off its throne as the tallest building in the world. From having the highest observatory deck ever built to lifts that rise so high you're going to feel a change in air pressure, you'll be amazed by what the Jeddah Tower has to offer. So let's take a journey as we explore the Jeddah Tower with you and discover more about the new icon of Saudi Arabia and its Before we tour the Jeddah Tower, make sure to subscribe to Top Luxury for more videos. Remember to take a moment and leave a comment below. Sometimes called the home of Islam because it's host to Islam's holiest cities, Mecca and Medina, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is a relatively young desert country which holds almost one-fourth of the world's oil reserves, the largest in the world. To put it simply, it ships more oil to the rest of the world than any other country, and this has made it very wealthy. Saudi Arabia's religion and great wealth has inspired them to build something iconic on the world stage, similar to the Egyptian pyramids and the Eiffel Tower in France. They are planning to build the next tallest skyscraper in the world, known as the Jeddah Tower. Set to be located in Saudi Arabia's most liberal city, Jeddah, the tower will help to promote development and tourism in the nation. Once called the Kingdom Tower, it was created and sponsored by Prince Al-Walid bin Talal, the richest man in the Middle East and a member of the Saudi royal family. Jeddah Tower is not going to be your ordinary building. It's going to be the tallest in the world. To keep off the competition, Saudi Arabia doesn't want to confirm the tower's final height. Despite this, it will most likely be the world's first building to surpass the one kilometer mark. Interestingly enough, the head designer of the Jeddah Tower also designed the Burj Khalifa, so we can definitely say the project is in safe hands. The Jeddah Tower will be the first phase and the centerpiece attraction of the ambitious Jeddah Economic City, making it just a small puzzle piece of an even bigger project. The Jeddah Economic City is a development with roughly three times the size of Manhattan being built in Jeddah. It will host both commercial and residential developments, including homes, hotels, and offices. The entire project will house up to two million new citizens. It's going to take up a lot of cash, with estimates putting the cost at $22 billion. The tower's construction is part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 where the nation plans to raise Jeddah's status in the world as the country diversifies the economy and reduces its dependence on oil. It's clear that the skyscraper will be the crown jewel built with great engineering and design, heat-deflecting glass, and lifts that use carbon fiber to defy the power of gravity. Rising out of the desert with a sleek look, the Jeddah Tower is going to impress. It'll have 200 floors with luxury hotel rooms, service departments, and offices. True to its surroundings, its design was inspired by the leaves of desert plants. But it will also have a very functional design. The aerodynamic triangular shape and its sloping exterior will help to reduce the impact of the wind's lateral forces on the structure. Jeddah experiences high temperatures, sometimes reaching up to 50 degrees Celsius in the summer. To make this heat more manageable, the tower's exterior is covered with high-tech glass of low conductivity to reduce the power used by air conditioning systems. Because of its height, the Jeddah Tower will offer wonderful views of the city and sea from the outdoor terraces. It will also have the world's highest observation deck at 652 meters above sea level, which will beat the Shanghai Tower's observation deck which is currently the joint highest at 562 meters above sea level. The Jeddah Tower observation deck was originally supposed to be a circular helipad 30 meters across to provide fast access to the penthouse. However, wind at that height makes it a dangerous place to land, so they decided to change plans. Still full of amazing engineering, the tower will have specialized lifts that rise up to 660 meters above sea level. 
At these heights, you'll start feeling a difference in the air pressure. The Jetta Tower will even have double-decker lifts that have never been designed before, which can take you from the first level to the observation deck in just 67 seconds. In total, the Jetta Tower will have 59 elevators. However, because of the extreme height of the tower, the lifts will move at a lower speed compared to regular lifts so that you don't get nausea after the quick change in air pressure. There will also be three sky lobbies to prevent any one elevator from having to go all the way to the top, eliminating the need for very long cables. It may take some time to fill up all 200 floors worth of spaces. Remember, it took two decades for the Empire State Building to fill up with tenants. No one can deny that the Jetta Tower will be memorable to look at, but how will it be realized? The construction of such a unique building needs high-tech tools, lots of workers, and a lot of money. In fact, the estimated cost of the tower is a staggering $1.2 billion. Construction started in April 2013. A tall structure like this needs a very strong foundation, so the engineers went for a piling foundation which goes deep into the sandy soil and transfers the loads onto stronger, more compact and stiffer rock. The foundation work was completed in December 2013 with a five meter thick top foundation above 270 piles, each 1.8 meters in diameter, which go to depths of up to 105 meters. That's very solid. With the piling done, above ground construction started in late 2014. Such a huge skyscraper needs a lot of concrete, with parts of the core walls being several meters thick. As of October 2017, the central core of the tower was officially at level 60, and the walls were 248 meters high. The design was kept simple, so that it can be built quickly and efficiently, but that was easier said than done. The idea for the tower had not been received well by all Saudis. Some of them felt the high cost of construction might have a negative financial effect on the kingdom. With a budget nearing $2 billion, its opening date was being gradually pushed towards 2020 as the economy took a hit. That was just the beginning of the problems. Construction stopped in early 2018 when one of its main sponsors was arrested as part of a political purge. Work on the Jetta Tower stalled less than 25% of the way through the 1,000 meter high project. Since then, there has been no revised completion date, but construction on the surrounding master plan of the Jeddah Economic City has been going on. So what's the future of the tower? No one really knows except the Saudi Arabian government. However, the mystery is going to continue into the near future. Even after it's finally finished, the tower will have new challenges to face. It probably won't remain the world's tallest skyscraper for very long. Iraq is planning to build a tower called The Bride to be completed in 2025, which will be 1,151 meters tall. Whatever happens, it is hoped the skyscraper will put Jeddah on the map as an icon of construction for many years to come. Do you want to see the Jeddah Tower completed? Does building such super skyscrapers make economic sense? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoy our content, remember to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to Top Luxury for more videos. For now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.